Are we not the most well-produced supermarket review channel out there? Like Only one, bro. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another grocery store deli episode of Fun Grows Food. We are continuing our journey and today we are doing Sprouts Farmers Market. We are on a journey to analyze and explore America's supermarkets grab and go section. I think the easiest way to describe Sprouts, and I'm not like making any prejudgments, but it is a cross between a Trader Joe's and a Whole Foods. So it's definitely not as big as a Whole Foods, definitely not as expensive, uh, quality wise it's kind of like a uh, price wise more like Trader Joe's it started in San Diego headquartered in Arizona and then now it's kind of starting to spread across but the country no this is what I'm thinking of desert dry chilies chili like chiles. Chiles. lots oh, of chilies chili. lots of chilies lots of chilies and green and red chilies red or Christmas red guys, or Christmas guys, we did a TV show all right so we have an array of food from prepared dinners to hot foods to cold foods like the salads and then we got some of their really nice Baked breads. Sprouts Deli, let's go. Starting off the Sprouts Crawl, we got the boneless chicken wings. Or, or, sorry, I should say boneless bites. Chicken vites. Bites, not, not what you're thinking. No, 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 no. Nothing, no. you dirty Nussin. man. Nissin thinks in love, that which is not wrong, but it is wrong for We're this video. We talking about the chicken <laughs> bites. To be fair, Sprouts is from Arizona, so yep. this is probably the the honey barbecue bites with the chicken bites. Hot and spicy boneless chicken bites. We still had to microwave these. Okay. Yeah, because so they came cold, but because we actually brought a microwave to the park. There. The dedication to provide you the most accurate supermarket review. Are we not the most well-produced supermarket review channel out there? Like, Only one, bro. Now, you love fried chicken. What's your view on the boneless bites? I am not a fan of boneless because I'm more of a traditional person. I like the you know texture and taste of the uh, wings. A boneless usually dry. Yeah, dry. Usually breast chicken breast. Yeah, breast meat. Breast meat, healthier. True. Guys, this is the honey barbecue chicken bites. Yeah. You know All right, what? I would give it a, a, a three out of five. I give the honey BBQ ones 2.5 out of five. Like it tastes like kids food, right? I think the taste of it, the, the sauce of the honey barbecue tastes kind of good, but then the quality of it's not that good. Like of the meat, so 2.5. Like, okay. Spicy? Spicy, hot and spicy. The hot and spicy is a barbecue flavor. Man, if we had ranch right now. This one seemed like it was like cooked better though. Yeah, yeah. just the taste overall from the hot and spicy is better. <clears throat> I gotta give it a, a three five. Same, three, five. That's a big jump for me though. I said two five to three five. I'm gonna give it three out of five. Oh, you're giving it a three oh, out of five. Not three point five. Oh, for three point five. <laughs> so this is the chicken tender. Oh, this thing is steamy. Yeah. I enjoyed this as well. Yep. No, my kid side is loving this. You It'd know what this bad. reminds me of? It reminds me of those dino nuggets. Yeah, exactly. Reminds me of dino nuggets. And you know dino nuggets are good. I'm giving these a three out of five. They're not as good as the buffalo hot and spicy ones that I just ate. I like, I'll give it a 3.5. I give these wow. a 3.5. I like these better than both Spicy ones? ones? Yep. Dude, the texture on these yep. is actually- It's hanging, bro. Really? It's hanging. 3.5. These are five. I stand I, by it. Dude, these are elevated, I agree with you, elevated dino nuggets. Next section, we have what I would say, uh, the Phoenix is, bus no. is the Phoenix Thanksgiving dinner. The macaroni and cheese here for $4.99 per pound. We have the mac and cheese with hatch chilies. You have the roasted dark turkey. We've got the mashed potatoes heated for $3.49. Wait, David, are you just gonna not talk about how this turkey looks right now? Was Does that look like a dinosaur fossil? Look at what we're looking at, <laughs> that bro. That looks like a, a, a T-Rex. Oh my god, bro. The meat is falling off. Yo. I'm excited about this plate, actually. This is looking like a pretty good spread, man. And that turkey was looking mad juicy. Got a little extra, um, it got hatch chilies in it. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Spice. Mm -hmm. I like the chili. Regular mac and cheese with a little bit of uh, fresh cheese on top. I prefer the one with the chilies. True. Hatch chilies was better. Dark roast Whoa, turkey. I gotta give a shout out to how how uh, this turkey just falls off the bone. I'm excited. Almost like carnitas. Almost Yours like. Look. That was really good. That tastes like the pork in a Cantonese soup. Like the chew of tongue. Yeah. yeah. Those baked beans are like, candied baked beans are so sweet. Mm. The mash is really good. Overall, those were probably the best things we had so far. 
the hatch chili macaroni and the turkey get a four from me. And then everything else is probably like 3.5. Guys, I'm gonna rank the mashed potatoes pretty high. Having the fresh red potatoes in there with the skin on, it's a plus combo. the turkey. You gotta shred the turkey, eat the mash. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that that was a great way to recreate turkey dinner. And I prefer it over the sliced turkey breast. Hell yeah. Oh, for sure. Hell yeah. No, no, you've been to Disneyland more than us, I gotta ask. How'd you know Have that, you huh? the... no, oh, You're from God. LA and you know more girls. I don't take girls to Disneyland. Okay, what? I don't know anything about that. Have you had the turkey leg at Disneyland? Yes, I have. How does this compare? This is like a turkey leg. Meat quality of sprouts is better. Oh. Because, because the Disneyland turkey leg, you might have a few sections of it, you know, feeling juicy, very oily, but a lot of the other parts of the chicken leg is actually really dry okay. and hard. This one, it's soft throughout the whole thing. We are moving on to some prepared dinners. This is the Salisbury steak dinner for eight forty nine dollars yo, 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 that was, you know, that was like the most popping dinner in America, wow. probably like in the 1950s. Like, um, it's okay. I mean, it tastes very low quality to me. Yeah, it's, it's not that great. I'm With not. respects to Ronald and Nancy Reagan, or Jimmy Carter, I gotta say, three. Oh. Nixon was probably eating this three times a week, right? Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Yo, that I'm orange chicken excited. looks. Yeah, if you guys really know the origin of uh, ultra orange fried meats, like double fried meats, I believe it is from Dongbei and the Guobao Row at a Dongbei spot, which is northeastern China. All right, Beijing beef. All right, guys, we had to get this because it's part of the ethnic section that we have here at Sprouts. It kind of tasted like the way it would taste at school. This would make the China Express spots be the crown of all Chinese food. Okay. Fair, fair. Feeling the orange chicken is better. That's the orange flavor. Yep. If you're going to get one of them, get the orange chicken. 3.5. Three. I would, I would eat that. Three out of five. We are entering another ethnic section of sprouts. Mm -hmm. We have the tandoori chicken with brown rice and the Greek chicken with potatoes. These are countries with histories that's ranged for thousands of years. Okay. I would say that these two are interesting because you are starting to see the Whole Foods influence. Yeah. Crazy. Greek freak like Giannis. Yeah, Greek freak like Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo from Chris Middleton. Cross court passes. Oh! All right, guys, I'm gonna try the potatoes with the chicken. Are we going Greek sauce. first? Greek first. Yo, this looks delicious. Yeah, with it's the actually potatoes, looks this looks amazing. Mm. Man, that's pretty good. I like, I like this one. Yeah. Yo, yeah. yo, four out of five. I give it a four out of five. That bro. is a very strong score. That was good. You, I wouldn't feel bad eating that. Like, I think so far, if you got to eat one thing for lunch, right now, that's in the lead. All right, time to try this tandoori chicken. I'm saying a three, here's only why. Three. That Greek dish, it's not that Greek food's like better than Indian food or anything, that's not what I'm trying to say, but obviously that Greek dish was made to be eaten cold. Right. So the fact that it was already cold, you didn't need to cook it and reheat it, already means that it was kind of an advantage. We've got the cold deli battle. Egg salad versus deviled egg salad. But this egg salad, I say right off the bat, visually looks like of great quality. It's very bland. Yeah, yeah it tastes healthy, bland. but there's no flavor. Yeah, it's bland. High quality, Low flavor. How about that? You rolling with me? That's big facts. Deviled eggs, Italian, Russian, somewhere around there. Europe. I thought it tasted like regular potato salad. Where the egg at? That? All right, I gotta say, obviously, there's more egg in this actual potato salad. I'm going in with the. I'm going with the devil eggs. Yeah. Tastes yeah. a lot better. Yeah. Really? I got dreams. Everyone has them, but it seems so few ever grab a bunch of team. Right, you like guys, we got a also. seafood salad versus the tuna. Wow. I'm taking a bite of the seafood it's salad. Stinky. Whole oh, stinky. Ooh, I, ooh, hey. what? The shrimp? Oh, I, I better not get food poisoning, bro. It's cool. Shrimp's okay. Shrimp's oh, cool. Shrimp? oh, man, that's seafood salad. That might be the best seafood salad we had at the grocery store. Do you know why? Because they have shrimp in them. The shrimp is good. I know it's that's good why. Shrimp. I'll give that seafood salad a four out of five. Yeah, I'm giving it a four point five out of five. Woo! Four point five with the celery. Just because something's got to get a four point five, and and usually my expectation for seafood you salad gave something is for 4 .5 so low today. Oh no, I didn't. No, he did, yeah, he did. No, I didn't. 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 Yeah, nah, did. nah, nah. What was it? What was it? What was it? Rewind that back. Maybe I don't. I need this. We need to see who's wrong. Editor, y'all, just you know, put the replay. I give it a four out of five. That bro. is a very strong score. That was good. The sky is falling, guys. The sky is falling. I see the yin and the yang. I see the black cloud. I see. 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 I
sesame, ginger, chicken, salad. It tastes Asian. Mm. A little disappointing. A little disappointing, man. If some Chinese Americans disrespect Panda Express, what do you think about this? Because <laughs> Panda Express is good. It's actually delicious, It's right? good. Panda Express is good. I ate it throughout my college career. No, but I'm saying, but would you eat this? Honestly, that is not a Chinese dish at all. <laughs> actually, that is just a Asian-inspired dish. We are on to the bakery slash dessert section. Takeaways from this Sprouts, because Sprouts is, and let me tell you why Sprouts is interesting. Because they say it's a farmer's market. It's kind of a in between Trader Joe's and a Whole Foods. I think leaning more towards a Trader Joe's, but has a hot food and prepared food section like a Whole Foods. I honestly say it's a hybrid with a Fresh and Easy. Yeah. Fresh and Easy, if you guys know, is a London based chain that, that shut down. Yeah. I think they just say Whole Foods to make themselves sound better. It's really not like Whole Foods. I would say my takeaways were that I really felt like. They did a good job of making sure that the food felt organic and healthy. Mm. The flavor was very hit or miss. Obviously my favorites were the chicken salad, the turkey dinner combo, but it's tough to say that that's, you know. Yeah, you know yeah. the, just the, the barbecue style the one. Dark. Yeah, the barbecue style one. I, so I liked my barbecue turkey plate, and um, I thought the orange chicken was surprisingly good. Some of my favorites has got to be seafood salad. I really like that one. Oh, wow, yeah. That that chicken finger was. You know, the I was with elevated it. dino. With it. I really like the spicy buffalo bites. You're it's missing the favorite one you didn't say. What? The Greek chicken. Oh, the Greek chicken was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what you gave the a 4.5? Yeah, he gave yeah. it a 4.5. You were right. Yeah. You were, that was right. Yeah. You did give it a 4.5. No. Out. No stylist. <laughs> Iced out loaf cake. Iced out loaf cake. It's wow. loaf Iced. lemon loaf cake. Iced lemon cake. Oh, oh, I love lemon. I love lemon. Right. Crunch. That crunch on the top. That's mm. like when Vince Carter did the 360 win as the opening oh, dunk in the 2000 dunk contest. It's, it's, it's over, over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. I would think between Salisbury steak and loaf cake, uh. and then deviled eggs. Those are three things that are very like 1950 Greece. He's lightning go. This is what John Travolta and them was eating at the at the little diner that looked like Johnny Rockets, but it wasn't Johnny Rockets yet. Body. Mm. Mm. Oh, a little sweet. No, no, a little too gooey, really but not, not bad. Too, uh, nah, nah, <laughs> too sweet, bro. Hey, Nelson, hit him with the no, <laughs> no. You know what I do like is that they give you a half pie. Look, you just pick it up and go. Just... I'm picking it up and pop. That's, the, that's what we call the fat man's briefcase. <laughs> Here's the thing about cherry pie, guys. Always very um, balanced between tart and sweet. Cherry pie. Scary I, cherry. I, I don't like cherries though. No. <laughs> Best cherry pie in America. Chocolate cake. Their cakes are dense. Mm. Like a yeah. IG girl's cake is dense. This uh, cake the, the tasted frosting. like something that some kid would bring into class that their mom made from home to share with all the other kids. Us trying these Midwestern, Southwestern supermarkets, you could argue is more impactful than us eating Chinese food on camera. I think so. For a crowd, for the people who do not watch our Asian stuff and our niche stuff and only watch this, this is could be groundbreaking. Major takeaways about Sprouts. No, my, my major takeaways I think is that um, you know Sprouts has a lot of elements that caters towards, like you guys said, the you know, Southwest influence. Sprouts is Southwest, but it's Southwest hippie. Yeah. Because if you know know about the Southwest, it's not just one type of person. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Here's a takeaway from my end, and I think this will help you if you guys see a Sprouts. Get their prepared dinners. I think those are the best things they offer. But something that you know that's different and that's good that you guys will not be disappointed on is the Greek chicken dinner. I just everything's fresh though. I, I will say, even the salad items that we had, it felt like someone just made them. I definitely am learning a lot about like these like American institutions throughout these videos. Hey, and I just want to say, you know, like we cover a lot of different food. Obviously, we cover a lot of Asian food, a lot of Chinese food, um, a lot of authentic Chinese food, but. This is like uh, our American side. People keep giving up. People keep living up. You know how he did? Alright, you guys. In the comments below, please let us know what other supermarket chains we should check out. Everybody follow Nelson on Hoopin' Live. Thank you. Instagram, let me know. Chan, hit me. Check out our Instagrams down below. We're here at the park. And thank you for watching.
Until next time, we out. Peace. People kind of get this like pretentious vibe from Whole Foods sometimes. Like you don't always want to go in there because I don't identify as a Whole Foods person, you know. But Sprouts is more of like a catch-all. Like, hey, if you want some of that farmer's market hippie vibe, but you don't want all that stuff that comes along with Whole Foods, come to Sprouts. <laughs>